Welcome to part five of walking on the Bristoria Road Warpath. And once again, I didn't notice that there's actually a timer on this thing. And uh, as you guys might have noticed from my first films, when I walked, uh, when I first started filming my my videos, um, that uh, I have I wear glasses to, to see up close. And uh, I I did that. I think the first two walks, first two ten miles, I walked with the with the video camera here, and uh, I uh, I had a severe headache for like the day after, the whole day, the next day from wearing those glasses to see up close with the camera. So <laughs> I uh, I just noticed that uh, when I had my glasses on, I was reviewing the film a little bit and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I only had six minutes left, so I've been I've been really shooting the breeze these first five videos. So uh, like like I said, like I was telling you guys, you know, I uh, I'm not gonna, you know, I you know I have the imagination, and like I told you guys, I'm a writer, so I could be really creative and come up with. And I do come up with great names for these films, you know, and people do watch them. But when they get to there and they find there's like six parts and it's just a guy walking on the road with the flag. With the, you know, people are, we live in the times where people want to see, you know, action and entertainment. And that's what I do for a living. <laughs> you know, well, I've done for 14 years. I've been a DJ. So I know what people like. They like to be entertained. And I like to entertain. But this is... Uh, for the record you know this is I've been walking all these miles and I'm finally getting it on video I've been I actually <laughs> I had big I'm a guy who aims high you know I uh, <laughs> I actually saw them doing a, uh, in my head you know I saw doing a TV series one of those uh, I don't know what they call those those live things like and I'd walk all over the country with the TV show you know walk out on the and uh, a reality reality show. Yeah, I thought, wow, man, this could be a reality show. And I'm like, yeah. And then, and you know what? My first, the first three years of, man, I, I, everybody knows about me. All the talk, all the talk show guys. I've, you know, they all know about me. They don't want me on. Uh, and I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'm to the point where, you know, I, you know, it's actually. Uh, uh, this is what I do <laughs> like I told you guys in in the, in the videos and I was like you know this is what I do you know I'm supposed to fly under the radar for some reason wherever God wants me to be a tool in this in this uh, fight against good and evil I found out that it's actually good that people find out about me through the internet and through word of mouth and you know instead of being a flash in the pan that I'm gonna be that steady warrior that that walks the roads, you know, like, you know, and, and it, I, I be being flying under me flying underneath the radar is a good thing that I've learned, you know. So I might even turn down the big talkers if the talk radio people want me to talk on their show. Or, I, I don't know. I actually like being under the radar now and being here on YouTube with you guys and. And when people find out more about me, you know, so it all works out the way God wants it to work out, you know, it's like, and, uh, I mean, I wasn't in it for, I wasn't thinking big for the wrong reason. I wanted, like I told you guys, I wanted the whole country walking with the flag, but, you know, so I'm a unique kind of guy. and This is a unique story, so. It's just for, you know, I, I, you know, I would, if Michael Savage called me today, you know, I'd be there. <laughs> He's my hero, man. You know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be walking. It, you know, so, all right, I'll see you guys. This is the last part of this video because I'm running out of time and it's going to run out. So I'll load these up and I'll shoot maybe four or five on the way back on my last five miles of the day. So until then. Be brave, be strong, stand tall, walk proud, and like I said, most of all, talk loud. 
Call your friends up today. Get off your butt. Turn the TV off. The dollar's gonna crash at the end of 2012. So go to my website. By the time these are loaded up, I'll have the Lindsey Williams and Alex Jones video up about what's gonna happen to the dollar and the time frame and everything they're talking about it. Cause he knows because the elite people who are, are he has access to the elite people and what they want to do. And what they want to do isn't good for the Middle Eastern countries because uh, what's going on, all these leaders are falling on purpose. And, uh, and, and so that's the key. That we're not going to have any gas because they're going to, uh, the American dollar is going to fall and uh, it's just terrible. So check it out. I'll see you in the next video, part six. Until then, have a great day.